Well, hello everyone and welcome to this little tutorial um, on how to paint fall leaves in acrylic. And if you're watching this on YouTube, um, it'll be available for a few days on YouTube. And then I will be moving it to my Patreon channel. Um, and if you'd like to join my Patreon and get more tutorials just like this one, um, you can join. Uh, there's different tier levels. And I think at the $10 tier, you get all these little um, short lessons uh, that are very helpful and useful for all your different paintings that you work on. So um, I'll put the link in the description below. So I just want to get started with a little bit of the, I've got some transparent brown oxide. I've labeled most of my colors here, but um, this is red oxide and brown oxide. And I'm going to use a bit of this liquid medium. My label has gone off the bottle, but it's just some acrylic liquid medium. You can get it in gloss or matte. Um, I use usually the the gloss because it also is, is useful for uh, when you go and um, varnish your acrylic painting. A layer of the gloss um, medium will do just just perfectly for that. Might add a little bit of this dioxazine violet in there just for fun. You can kind of play around with your background colors. And using the liquid medium, you can get a really nice um, looking wash or underpaint. I kind of like to leave the underpaint sometimes. You can use your paper paper towel to kind of blend it or I've got this little fan brush um, from Michaels really inexpensive fan brush and you get the same look that I I use when I when I paint in oil I pretty much do the same thing so I'm just I did a video for my oil painting uh, students as well but I thought I'm, I'll do one in acrylic so you can compare if you use both mediums. So um, fall leaves, uh, you could, you know, paint them and, you know, draw them out. Like some people like to draw each leaf like this. But a lot of the time I really just use sort of a, a looser technique. So I'll just get some of this alizarin brown oxide or I've also got this great color this this burnt sienna transparent burnt sienna is really beautiful for starting out with the fall leaves. It's like already kind of a mix of that red and brown. And I got that at Michaels. It was just I thought I'd try it out. So instead of drawing each leaf, I want to, I'm going to do the sort of more abstract, you know, shapes and colors. So, you know, I could fill in a space just using my brush. And this, this is sort of kind of a brush stroke video as well. So if I make marks like the leaves, like that versus drawing each little leaf, it's going to have a way more um, exciting, kind of more painterly feel to it. I can add some Indian yellow if I want to, if I would like to, you know, get some of those more yellow uh, fall leaves in there. And I'm just kind of mushing that brush and pushing down and lifting off to create those edges, you know. So this is just an easy and fast, fun way to do um, fall leaves. You could just block in some shapes up here, and then you can add some different colors again, like add some cad red to some, you know, just kind of look at your, I look at reference photos only just to give me the inspiration mainly, but these and also kind of the shapes of the leaves. Sometimes I'm going to do like oak, an oak leaf or something. I'll, I'll pull up some pictures of like an oak leaf versus these look like little maple leaves. So 
just sort of, you know, motion, mush your brush. I'm twisting it, making those shapes. And, and, uh, you can just make them really loose like that. And you can get, get some cad yellow, make some more orangey color, golden color. And you can add a little white and go back after you've done your wash and just sort of, you know, pick out some, some of those lighter detail bits like that. You can go mix some white and red and cad yellow and get a pinky color, put in some lighter, more opaque brush strokes like this for the and you know add some edges maybe in those colors and you can have a lot of fun um another thing i'll do is get something like this dioxazin violet and you know get some white and just for fun I'll sometimes uh, just add some little bits of purple be just to contrast with that orange. Sometimes I'll block in using some, instead of using like dark green, like if I was to make a fall leaf using viridian, I would mix a little brown or red oxide to dull it down and, you know, put a few green leaves in like this in your background just to have some some of those leaves that haven't churned yet and have that kind of contrast in there you could take your make a few marks like that and just get you know get your fan brush again and sort of blend some of those and then i would you know you could do a wash of the dioxazin violet and have some of those darker colored leaves in like a different color. And just to play around with color like that, you can dab some of that off. But in your initial wash even, you know, when I was first putting in those, those oranges, you can add some of the, some of these purples in And then I'll get some Payne's gray and just kind of dab some of that out. And put in, put in some darker strokes. For the give the impression of some branches coming in and um, you know I I'm kind of showing you a lot of different color you could go and get some cad yellow light and a little bit of white and mix that into your your kind of golden puddle here and add a few real bright highlights like that so you can look at both videos and and compare it's very similar to what I would uh, do in either acrylic or in oil so and you know I'm doing lots of light orange and golden but if you wanted some more you know, bright red, you could just go do the same thing, but just use more, more reds in your, in your leaves. So you can have fun with that. And you'll see that you don't have to paint each leaf in. And then of course, when I do things like this, I you can decide what else you want to add. You could add um, 
I quite often will add a bird or something into this, but even just on its own like this, you'll find this is a very kind of peaceful exercise to do. It's especially if you're like me and you love the fall and fall leaves. And uh, go ahead and try this at home. If you do it, I'm just practicing on these Michaels canvas papers, which is a great way to practice. They're only like, you know, $6 or less if you use the coupon. And so it's a great way just to get into painting. You don't need to buy expensive canvases. And you can find these uh, near the canvases in Michaels, these canvas pads. And um, I don't work for Michaels or get anything from telling you about where to buy these things. I'm just saying it's an easy uh, way to get practicing. So for all of you on my Patreon, you'll get the reference photo and you'll get to watch these um, as long as you're a member. And uh, for my YouTube fans, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.